Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing some Factorio. I'm sure you've seen some stuff about this before and we've actually streamed this on this channel a couple of times. So uh, yeah, go ahead and get started. I think uh, one of the things we need right off the bat is some wood and we also need to go find a coal deposit of some kind. Oh, yes. It's going to take me a little bit to dig through stuff at the very beginning because I don't have quite enough for new tools yet. Not a big deal. We'll, we'll advance to that pretty quick. Um, so when we start out, we're just plopped down in a random spot on the uh, map. And our end goal is to launch a rocket, or actually several, into space. Got to find a way to get off of this planet. But yeah, uh, we start out with a burner inserter. No, not burner inserter. Burner mining drill. This little dude down here. And then a stone furnace. Let's see. Do we see any coal? I see some oil. Which is going to come in really handy. I think it's going to take a little bit of walking around to see if... Well, you know what? We've got a map view. Oh, too far in. Uh, that's not coal. There we go. Coal is north of where we initially started, which is where we'll respawn if we do die. Which I'm really hoping that we won't. <laughs> uh, but yeah, we should have enough to get it started and get us some coal pumping out. Um, we are going to need some stone pretty soon. So uh, maybe let's grab some of that before we head up there. Yeah, these rocks aren't like a great source of stone, especially since they run out real quick. As soon as I break through here, it's gone. But I got us 19 stone, which should be enough to get started. Did I pass it? I basically passed it. Here we go. And yes, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and apologize for it uh, being a little bit dark. Wait. It, oh, no. Boom. Making some coal. Let's see. We need another burner mining drill. And for that, we need some, some uh, other stuff. So, yeah. Did that actually produce some? It barely did. We'll just drop all of that in there. Oh. Did it, did it maybe... Did it maybe break? It maybe broke. <laughs> oh, man. Victorio has been really good to me in the past, like, as far as stability goes. So, I mean, I'm not expecting it to have problems like that. Oh, it's dropping it onto the ground. That's what's causing the issue. We make a box. We can make an iron chest, but we're short on wood for a wooden box. Which is definitely the first step. Um, I don't feel like, you know, chopping down all of the trees... So uh, what we're going to end up doing, can I make one now? I can make one now. Okay, cool. Crafted. Boom. Yeah. I know there's some other things that we're going to need, like, raw wood for. But I really just want to get a small starter amount so that we can go ahead and start making some iron. Because that's the first step to making new and better tools. That ought to be good enough for now. I think I'm going to go ahead and can I make a better tool? I can make an iron axe. Pretty good. And coal. Well, I'm going to get, I'm going to be a little bit impatient and go ahead and move down here to the uh, iron. So we can go ahead and start putting out some iron because we need some more drills because that's how we get stuff out of the ground. Boom, 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 boom. Actually, we don't need that. We need that. And we need to put some fuel in there. So that'll sit there and make us some iron plates, which is, you know, the next step. Let's see. I think we needed eight of those. 
Eight of those will get us to where we need to be for more um, burner drills. And we definitely need some belts because we're going to be belting some of that stuff down here. Can we make another one? We can make another one. The stone was for these stone furnaces, and we do absolutely need more than one. Um, let's see. We do need nine. We definitely want to make another one of those, too. Hmm. Well, we're kind of out of fuel at the moment. As soon as we get that ninth piece, there we go. We're going to make us a, another burner mining drill. We'll just bring that with us. Let that continue doing what it's doing. Boom. Boom. There we go. One ought to get us up and rolling. Boom. Okay, so they're now feeding each other with fuel. So in a little while, we'll be able to come back up here and just suck out all the fuel. <laughs> okay, what's the next thing we need? We definitely are going to be needing some copper. So I'm going to work on a little bit more stone and hope there's enough for another drill. Definitely enough for another drill. Oh. And boop, there we go. Another drill. That one's out of fuel. We'll let it roll like that and drop that into... Well, you know, I want to make another stone furnace. As soon as that finishes, we're going to go check on what we've got up top. We should have a good bit more coal. And as long as we don't take all of it, all of it, we'll be fine. 14 over there. And it's got one more left in it again. There we go. And we have successfully siphoned off 30. It should be enough to get us some copper plates rolled. Drop half of it in there. We'll drop half of what's left in there and there. And we will take all of that wood and put all of our coal. Yeah, all of our coal in there. This is going to be another one of those games that just, it's... It's a heck of a time suck, but it's also really fun. You know, Minecraft, you don't build, I mean, you maybe build a small house in a day, but you don't build all the systems you need to keep yourself up and running in like 20 minutes. That's just not going to happen. Um, I think the way we're going to handle this time-wise is we're going to go based on milestones, kind of like we do in Forager, which is coming back, by the way. Um, I don't know if I ever spoke about it on camera, but the issue with Forager and why we stopped playing that for a little while is we reached the end of what we could do. So there was literally nothing more that we could do. Uh, we had bought the last piece of land, and that basically stops all progress. So we will be restarting it. We will be restarting it soon-ish. Oh, that's a lot of stone. We're, we're set for stone for a while. Let's see. What we need, we're probably going to need some belts first. We're going to want to try to bring them down. And we also need a lab. Go ahead and steal those. And take that. Uh, the lab is actually how we make our research. So... That's how we advance. And I think getting that up and going is probably going to be our milestone for today, where we're going to call it quits. Um, don't know if I want to go as far as fully automating it or if we just need to research the first little bit. Reminds me, power is also on the list of things to do. Uh, electric mining drills are going to come in handy. Uh, what do we need for this? We need more. More iron plates. We need a boiler and several steam engines. And our limiting factor at the moment is going to be our mining drills and the fuel for the mining drill. 
those, grab 40 of those, and it popped out a, okay. As long as it pops out a coal, it will work. Uh, that said, what else do we need? We need a handful of those, and we need a handful of those. I'm gonna go ahead and let that sit there and cook in our inventory. And we're going to mm, half of that and all of that. That'll keep that up and going. Uh, that is officially out. And we'll put that in there. That works. So everything's got a little bit of coal. Everything's up and running. And I apologize for it being so dark, but there's really not a whole lot that can be done about that at the moment. We will eventually have some night vision, which is going to be really cool. Okay. We need to break that off by a little bit. Then we can start plugging these in. Yep. That's going to need some of that same old coal. Go ahead and pop that in there. Not that it can do anything yet. Hmm. As soon as we can get one of these steam engines up, we're going to be able to make power. Boom. Going to be able to make power. Almost like I planned that. <laughs> okay. You. Uh, you are not connected to the power network. Which is okay at the moment. We'll drag this out a little ways. I want to get it in line with that coal. Coal. And I know I'm planning on it being a nice grid, but it's not going to be perfect for sure. Hey, what are we short here? We are short. Not a whole bunch, but we're about to be short on wood. So that's something we're going to have to go get some of. Because it's not like wood just hands itself to you in your inventory and you can't automate it. I mean, way far down the line, there's actually some op opportunity to uh, automate it uh, with robots and stuff. So we're, we're absolutely going to be getting flying robots in the near-ish future looking forward to it because it does definitely make things a lot easier at some point it does just kind of make you lazy though what else do we want we definitely want an electric mining drill which is entirely possible find where that ends boom right there and we just need a whole heck of a lot of this iron and it's going to be like that for, well, basically the whole game. That's still running. That. Those. We'll stick that on coal. Because it can take care of itself. And we're going to start building some transport belts. Really wouldn't mind putting another one of these electric mining drills, you know, down here. But it's going to take us a minute to get that many plates. How many does it take? It takes 23. It takes four of that copper. But anyway, uh, we're going to be continuously upgrading and growing everything that we've got to match what we need. I mean, it's always, always, always going to start out slow. But it quickly picks up. And things change really fast. Hey, we've got some to there. There. That should be able to power the drills as we get them. Uh, I'm thinking maybe that's not the best place for research. Maybe the research needs to be somewhere else else. I would love to be able to pipe all of this, all the copper, over into the right area. And then do the same with the iron just below that. I think that's probably our best bet as far as managing our space. I don't want to build above this. And the limit on it is probably going to be over here. Not that big of a deal. But that means research, as small as it is, needs to go at the end of the line. 
So maybe a little bit further south than all of this uh, iron. Or maybe in line with the iron, which that's okay. Got a few more of these we can plop down. Go ahead and finish that out. And then break off a line for research. Hate getting it out of line. <laughs> okay. So we've got that. We need to work on getting that electric mining drill up top. And then start piping all that juicy, juicy coal down. And get rid of these two. Pick up that little piece of coal. And I'm thinking maybe... And we'll start piping coal down. See, did we have enough to make another one of those? We don't. It stinks. 52 of those. How many does that make? It makes 17. Hmm. Wish we could make belts out of copper. That would be cool. But I think we're kind of short on wood again. At least that's something to do while we wait on everything else to come through. 34 belts really is not that many belts. It's not going to go very far. We're just going to have to wait on that. You know what we can do while we wait? We can make a handful of those because all they take is stone. Should have set up 15 to go, which should be plenty. Yeah, there's 15. Go ahead and start pulling this down. That's almost to where we need it. We definitely need it going to power over here. What does it take to make red science? It takes some of these plates. Go ahead and make, I don't know, 10 of those. And see what all we can research. So automation is the first thing that we can research. And that's what's going to allow us to automate future research. We're going to set that for research. And when we're done with our little bits down in the corner, we'll um, go ahead and move that in and start automating all of our research. Yeah, this stinks that it's that slow. You know, if I've got a little bit of belt, or actually, you know what, I'm just gonna do this. And we're gonna go off of there. Boom, 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 okay. Lots of iron coming out, because that's our biggest limiting factor at the moment. And I'm going to go ahead and pick up all of this coal, because we are still going through it pretty quick. And we're still short on that, but it'll pick up pretty quick. You know, uh, because we're already at uh, a, little, a little bit of time here, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of speed through or cut the recording here so that you don't have to sit here and watch me wait on stuff yet again. Uh, so I will see you on the other side of the cut.
Okay, and we're back. So I've done a little bit to kind of automate what we've got going on down here. So semi-automated uh, iron plate production, which is awesome. We're making as much as we were before we took the break, but it's automated. So there, we don't have to feed it anymore. It automatically feeds itself, which means from this point, uh, we can start working on automation of the uh, research. And I wanted to save this till you guys were with me, but that did finally finish producing. And we're going to go ahead and research automation. And I got to tell you, I'm very much looking forward to being able to do some of the logistic stuff, like being able to split lines, because it's been so long since I was at the very, 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 very beginning that I have completely and totally forgotten how much I use the logistics. <laughs> oh, boy. Yeah, we can, we can continue to upgrade our stuff over here. Um, we'll uh, let that go ahead and work. You can see the progress over there at the top right of the screen. And uh, yeah, yeah, looking forward to, uh, I guess, maybe the next episode, because as soon as that's done, I think that's where we're going to call it quits. I've been recording for quite some time now. And uh, yeah, if you like it, you let me know, and there will definitely be an episode two. If not, uh, there will definitely be some more stuff in streams because it's not something I'm going to stop playing anytime soon because, honestly, I'm having a blast. Um, we do have some very modded stuff on uh, one, of the, one of the group servers that we play on, and uh, I like it, but it's a little complex, which is why we've gone with vanilla on this one. And yes, I know vanilla is a, a flavor of ice cream. It's a, well, it's a, it's a food. But uh, that, that's also how I describe, you know, something that's been unmodded, unmessed with. And I'm not the only one. I heard it from somebody else and it sounded good to me, so it's it stuck. But yeah, um, research is officially complete. Let's take a quick look at our inventory before we call it quits and see what that gave us. That gave us the assembling machine. So, and I think it gave us a couple of, yeah, it gave us a long-handed inserter so we can now reach a little bit further to get more stuff. But anyway, guys, uh, I think that's gonna have to do it for us today. And I wanted to say thank you for hanging around as long as you did, if you did. Uh, if you hadn't hit subscribe, please do. If you hadn't joined us over on the Discord, please do. It is discord.onesnot.com. And, uh, yeah, you can also find the link in the About section on the channel. Once again, guys, thank you very much for hanging around as long as you did. And I will see you in the next one.